Hey everyone, Thalsif here with First Updates Now here at the NTX and STEM Girls competition in, in Texas. And I'm here with probably the cutest robot you'll ever see, 9997, the deputies, Howdy Bots' second team here. With their amazing robot, Shrinky Dink, probably the smallest robot you guys will ever see. Last year, uh, Howdy Bots brought in Short Stack, their second robot, and it was the smallest for Rapid React. Made it to finals that uh, off season, so really excited to have their 2023 version here. I'm with Jack and Jay. They'll talk about their robot. I'm really excited to walk through with you guys here on Behind the Bumpers. Talk me through your design process and how you guys are able to put everything in such a small package. Yes, this actually is the smallest FRC robot that I can find uh, anywhere. It's 10 inches by 10 inches frame perimeter. Uh, for the drive and the design behind it, uh, one of the problems we had last year was the wheels were too big in diameter and so it was tippy. So to go for the absurd frame perimeter, uh, we went with two inch wheels. So two inch wheels and they're far apart. So even though it's a smaller robot than last year, it actually has double or triple the wheelbase. So it makes it a lot less tippy. And another thing that we went for to make it less tippy was to lower its center of gravity by making all of this steel. So this is 20 pounds of steel that is right now at the bottom of the robot. So if we So we flip it up, you can see we've got this welded steel frame and that causes it to basically not tip at all. So if I actually tip this robot, it's it would still fall back all the way up until about that point. Wow, that still flips backwards. That's actually really nice, especially with how small the robot is. If you go pretty mm -hmm. fast, you could tip over, but now you yeah. have a counter counterweight to keep it low onto the ground. Now talk to me about your, your arm. You have an arm with a suction cup. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so with this one, we wanted it to be able to score uh, mid elements. So we have a pretty unique designed arm that can extend uh, multiple times the length of the robot. And it has a suction cup at the end to grab pieces. Uh, we'll talk more about the strategy of grabbing the pieces later, but... Um, now, do you guys have any like vision system or aiming system? How does that work exactly? Yeah, I mean, it's so small. The only electronical components on there really are the four motors. So two drive motors, an extending motor, and a, a pump. And what but motors there's... are you guys using? Because that, of course, takes a lot of uh, space. Yeah, so there's two drive Neos. Um, we probably should have gone with Falcons for that, but we had like the wrong shafts for the gears. And then we have a driving Falcon for the... Uh, extending. All right, I'm gonna hand it off to you, Jay. Talk to me about the strategy with this such a small package of a robot. You guys fit in the hybrid nodes on the first level, so talk to me about it. Yeah, definitely fitting in the hybrid nodes uh, really helps with our autos. You know, just balance a cone and on it, move forward and automatic score. Um, one thing we have, yeah, it is small, so it's a, you know a, li a little, it's, it's, it's kind of jinky. Um, but yeah, so it does kind of swerve, uh, kind of veers uh, left, but overall um, we are able to, uh, we have been able to intake from the double and the single substation. Nice. We have uh, preferred um, our double because, you know, better vision. Yeah. Um, since we don't, uh, unfortunately, don't have like a visioning system. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but overall, um, it is able to score even in such a tiny package, which right. is amazing. I mean, I assume also part of your strategy is being so cute so that field volunteers are able to tip you guys out back onto the field. Uh, yes, we, def we definitely appreciate that, um, the little bonus. Um, yeah, yeah. But the overall, such a cute robot. Love to see guys small, such a small package. Basically yeah. an FTC sized robot. It's yes. actually smaller than FTC sized. It's smaller than FTC. Yeah. You guys should probably play the new game you guys have that's <laughs> out. But honestly, you guys made a, such a great robot. You guys did, make, did great last year. Doing great this year. Excited to see more future renovations about this. Speaking of that, what is the process of that? You guys did it last year, did it this year. What's the process of all that? Um, so this year, uh, it's really like skills that I want to learn. So last year, I hadn't run the machine or uh, done a lot of other cabbing. And this year, I wanted to try different building strategies. So I've never welded anything before. Uh, so this is actually the first drive base, and these are the first welds I've ever done. So they came a little bit rough, but the one on the actual robot's a little bit cleaner. Um, 
and then I've also never done this puzzle piecing before. <laughs> so wanted to learn a better way to do uh, something like that. Just trying some stuff we've never done before. And we've never made uh, a mechanism with this boat hook thing. So using this that we've never used before that might be viable for uh, a different thing because we could probably replicate or make this similar mechanism like to right for years to come and the suction of course inspired i assume inspired by the lady cans yeah working so well i don't think we've ever made we have done suction in the past but we've never done suction for game pieces like this so that was okay. interesting to try yeah so but putting everything in a small package we did it last year this year it's smaller yeah. just the, the process with that how hard was it what you how long did it guys take you to make this so really the hardest thing with the uh Making it small is the electronics because they're so big and it's the only thing you really need to have. So the battery was accounted for uh, in this one. So it's really far in the deep of the robot. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of applying what we did on our main robot last this year. Okay. Uh, and then something that we wanted to try was putting the electronics vertical and like on the walls in the last right. iteration. But this one we were able to pull it off. And that's how it really packages. Well... Howdy bots or the deputies. Thank you guys so much for walking us through the, the cutest robot we'll probably ever see until maybe next year. So really excited to see this more in motion. We're at lunch right now, so really excited to see you guys play next match and playoffs as well. So thank you guys for walking us through Shrinky Dink. So thank you guys so much and congrats on all your great success so far. Thank you. Thank you.